girls! Welcome to Jay's OJ Room channel. Today, I will make a Vera Blossom dress that can be worn lovely in spring and summer. The Vera dress is available in three different sleeve styles. You can give a cute feeling with short pop sleeves, lower the sleeves to give a sexy feeling with an up shoulder. And finally, you can emphasize the loveliness by making long sleeves that can be layered. The fabric I used is a light type of 60% cotton and 30% viscose. Before making clothes, overlock both ends of the fabric, wash and iron it before preparing. And prepare a 40cm long hidden zipper and pattern. Fold the fabric in half and put the pattern on it and cut it. A 6mm rubber band will be sewn on the center of the front number 1. The pattern has a length that does not include a seam allowance. So cut the rubber band by adding 1cm seam allowance at both ends. Mark the 1cm on the fabric and pull the rubber band to sew. Then cut off the remaining seam of the band. Sew so the side lines of the front 2 and 3, then overlock and sew the front 1 together. Please iron the seam allowance toward the side line. You need to slit the front center part and shoe again. For a more natural shape, cut the seam allowance on the opposite side. Also, cut the seam on the curved part, then overlock. The back center is going to sew a zipper, so please sew the side seams and overlock it. Then, overlock the side lines of the front and back, and sew them. I run the seam allowance of the back plate toward the center of the back and fold the side lines of the front and back in half. Please I run the chest seam downwards. Now we are going to sew the skirt part. The dots on the back are shown first. Do not sew dart and back and folds and pull out the thread long and make a knot twice. I run the dart to the side line.
so now sew the side seams of the front and back skirt. Then overlock the side line, back center and front slit line. So we are going to sew the front slit first. After marking the slit line on the fabric, sew the upper part. And after making the zipper position on the back center, sew the lower part. Fold the front sleeve and the seam allowance at the back center in half, then iron it. The seam allowance of the sleeve and zipper part is also 1 cm. Accurately mark the seam tangent line and iron it. I run the side seams toward the back plate. And now, sew the front slit. In the upper part of slit, with the needle stuck in the fabric, lift the presser foot and rotate the fabric to sew. And now we will fold the skirt hem twice and sew it. After overlocking the seam allowance at the hem, I fold the amount and sew it again when sewing. Place the waist of the skirt and the top together and fix it with a pin according to the notch mark and sew it. As with the top, the front center part needs slit. So now we are going to show a hidden zipper in the center of the back. If you look at the top of the zipper, you can see the plastic end. 
Mark the part with a pen. And then unfold the fold of the zipper and iron it. And please note that if you set the iron temperature too hot, the zipper may melt. Change the presser foot to a zipper foot. Make sure the zipper is not twisted and align the zipper with a 1cm seam mark on the upper part of the back center and sew. When sewing, start sewing from the market area without the way to the top of the zipper. Please sew the waist seam facing downwards. After marking the end of the zipper, make sure to align it correctly and sew. And sew with a diagonal line. Mark the end and waistline on the zipper on the other side. When sewing a zipper, you can sew the zipper more accurately by fixing the waist and end lines in advance. If there is a lot of zipper length left, cut it with 4cm left. You can also sew the end several times to finish it, but for a cleaner sewing, it is better to wrap the zipper using the remaining fabric or buy a tape to finish it. Overlook the sidelines of the front and back linings and sew. And then overlook the hem of the lining. Now we will sew the front and back excluding the armors by facing outer and linings together. Do not sew the back plate all the way to the center of the back and only sew up to position 5 cm away. So put the seam allowance toward the lining and sew the edge stitch on the lining. Don't forget sew the back plate at a distance of 5 cm. So similarly, put the seam allowance of the back toward the lining and sew the edge stitch on the lining. 
At this time, sew the edge stitch at a distance of 1 cm. Now, we will sew the lining and the zipper part. Sew the lining so that it extends 0.5 cm beyond the center of the back. Like this, the lining is more forward, and you can see that the length does not match. Then fold the zipper seam so that the length is just right. With the seam all once folded, connect it with the 5cm swing part and sew. And cut the upper seam all once diagonally. If you turn it over, you can see that both the inside and outside are sewn clean. And the lining may be lifted, so please fix the seam allowance by putting the side lines together. Prepare 8mm and 6mm rubber bands to make pop sleeves. Eight is for the shoulder and six is for the arm. And we are going to make a slip toner and sew the rubber band invisible. So first, overlock both sides of slip toner and the hem seam of the sleeve. Mark the location where the sleeve tunnel will be sewn according to the pattern. Fold the upper hem and hem seam according to the pattern and iron it. Sew the upper hem 1 cm as the seam allowance is folded. After fixing the sleeve tunnel with pins, sew with both sides. Attach the rubber band to the closed pins and insert it into the tunnel. Adjust the band so that it does not fall out and sew it. Sew the other side as well. Insert the band into the tunnel and sew both sides. Now sew the side seams of the sleeves. Then, fold the hem of the sleeve to eyes and sew it.
pin the body and sleeves to the notch and sew. After overlocking, I loosened the thread leaving 1.5 cm of thread left and then tied it twice. And I fixed the seam allowance to the sleeve. Long sleeves are similar to how to make short sleeves. First, sew the sleeve tunnel and make the top hem for the ribbon. Overlock both sides of the sleeve tunnel and the hem seam of the sleeve. Mark the location where the sleeve tunnel will be sewn according to the pattern. I measured the circumference 10 cm away from my wrist and it was 18 cm. And I used the 20 cm. Cut by adding 1 cm seam allowance from the length to both sides. Connect the rubber band to the clothes pin, insert it into the tunnel, and sew both sides. So the size of the sleeves. Fold the hem of the sleeve and sew it. Now, we will sew the upper hem of the sleeve and the sleeves. After folding the upper hem in half, mark the seam allowance 1 cm and 1 cm through which the ribbon will pass. A total of 2 cm at the top and bottom and sew except for the mark. Fold the seam allowance in half. And after marking the center position on the sleeve, pin it together with the upper hem and sew.
found the slips inside so that they are exposed. There is a hole for the ribbon to go through. Teach one centimeter on the top for the ribbon tunnel. Connect the clothes pin to the ribbon and insert it into the tunnel. If you tie a pretty ribbon, the Vera Blossom dress is complete. If the video was helpful, please subscribe and like. And see you in the next video. Bye!